Hello everyone. So through this video, we'll discuss the importance of finally keyword in Java. So finally is one of the most important keyword in exception handling mechanism. So why finally is required? That we'll discuss in detail. But let us see how finally will be used, where the code will be written, how it will be written through the example. Okay. So this example we have discussed in the last video. Let me tell you the details about the program. So you have not done anything special in this program, but we have entered two values. Okay. Number one, number two, we are finding the division and we are printing the result. Okay. And we have seen that if the denominator I am entering zero, then exception will be generated, but program is not going to be terminated abnormally. The catch clock will handle the exception and the rest of the code will be executed sequentially and the normal flow of execution can be achieved by using try and catch block okay now here we are using use of finally block in exception handling mechanism of java okay so let's save the file Okay, let's compile the code. Okay. Okay. Java C. Twenty five and zero. Now here cannot divide by zero means exception is generated and we are handling through the cache block. We can see. We, can, we are handling through the catch block, cannot divide by zero, and then we are printing the details about the exception and the rest of the codes are executed. Okay, so this is one case that exception is generated and handled. Suppose the second example I am telling you, exception is not generated, so handling is not required, so result is five, and everything the rest of the code which is present after the division that is going to be printed and after try block also going to be printed but the statement inside the catch block are not going to be printed okay i am giving you another option where exception is generated but unable to handle so abnormal termination is occurring okay so in all these three cases, we have seen that in the last case, whenever the actual exception is generated, where suppose the situation will come and we will open a file. Okay, one important file we have opened. Clear? We have opened one important file. Now you have not closed that particular file. So if exception is generated, program will be terminated abnormally. Now what about the open file? Anyone can access the open file and can hack your data or can leak your data. So to avoid that situation, this finally block has come. Okay. So finally block will be executed in all three cases. First case, exception is generated and handled. Second case, exception is generated, not handled. Exception is not generated. In all three different cases, the use of finally block will come. Okay. So let's see through the example that how actually finally keyword is used in program. Okay. So the first situation, let's understand that here exception is generated. Which kind of exception? Arithmetic exception is generated, but we are catching null pointer exception. So that means exception is generated but you are unable to handle okay so you have to write finally block i'm giving a message only system dot out dot print 
finally block okay so here is the situation once again i am telling that the exception is generated but you are unable to handle the exception that means abnormal termination will occur so there what is the role of finally block we will see clear compile so 25 then 0 exception is generated see abnormal termination has occurred but finally block is also executing <clears throat> this is the beauty of finally block that if try block is executed that means exception is generated then finally block will execute before abnormal termination of your program finally block will execute and this is actually required to close all the files so if you close all the files inside the finally block then at least the nobody can put you any kind of harm in your program okay so this is the first case exception is generated but not handled but you are executing finally block so finally block is executing clear yeah. second case we will handle the exception so exception is generated we are hand, handling the exception so catch block will execute then what is the role of finally block compile check catch block is executing because exception is generated so catch block will handle the exception after that finally block is also executing then the rest of the code clear then the rest of the code so first case exception is generated not handled finally block is executing second case exception is generated exception is handled till finally block is executing clear third case exception will not generate like 25 and 5 exception will not generate so result so the rest of the statement inside the try block is executing after that no role of catch block but finally block is executing and then the rest of the code okay so all in three different cases finally block will execute in all three cases whether exception is generated or exception is not generated if you have written one try block then finally block will anyhow execute clear suppose i am changing the place of finally block in my program instantly error message will come that means finally without try you cannot write so it is assuming that if you have written any statement inside the try catch block or finally block then finally block is a separate block it is assuming clear so we cannot write finally block after any other statement okay similarly i am writing some statements after the try block before the catch block okay the same problem is occurring that try without catch so that means we cannot write any statement in between the try catch block okay if you are writing the try catch finally you have to write sequentially in between any two block we cannot give any other statement okay so let's see through the slides so why actually finally keyword is required in java this is used to complete the execution of important code clear if you are any exception is generated and you are unable to execute some important code like closing of files or closing of any connection then finally block will help you and it must be executed whether exception is handled or not clear yeah. but following the try catch block there are three different catch cases we have discussed exception doesn't occur but finally block will execute exception occurs and handled till finally block will execute exception occurs and not handled but finally block will execute clear yeah. so finally block is the compulsory statement which will execute whether exception is handled or not okay so this is what the overview working principle of finally block okay so 
in first case exception has not occurred so from the try block the work of catch block will never come so directly from try block it will come to the finally block because the exception has not generated second exception has occurred and handled so obviously after try block catch block will execute after catch block then finally block will execute third case exception has occurred but not handled so there the role of catch block will not come okay so what will happen it will come to the finally block then abnormal termination but before abnormal termination you will complete all your important tasks inside the finally block okay so by using finally block the user will be safe if it is dealing with some important kind of work okay so before abnormal termination you will complete or you will close all your connections before end of the program so that is what the use of finally block in java okay so you can see the difference that we have seen through the example try then catch your writing okay so try code which may throw an exception catch will handle the exception but here you have to write down finally block okay like try finally is also a keyword and one block you have to write where the compulsory to execute important code the final is the responsibility of the final is it will execute the important codes okay so this is what the overview of finally keyword and its usage in program so thank you everyone for watching this